This is the take apart guide for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0. In order to take apart this tablet, we're going to need to use two tools, a safe open pry tool and a small Phillips screwdriver. The first thing we're going to do is remove the stylus down here at the bottom right. Next we're going to take our small plastic pry tool to release the clips holding the back cover in place. In order to do this you'll need to take your pry tool and insert it in between the seam of the back cover and the frame. While you're doing this you want to make sure you don't insert your pry tool tool too far deep into the device being careful not to damage any of the components on the motherboard or any buttons on the outside frame. This process can take quite a bit of time just making sure you're being careful not to damage any of the clips so that you can put the back cover back on after you reassemble the device. You may have to insert your pry tool into different areas of the back cover allowing you to get your fingers in between the back cover and the inside of the housing in order to release it completely. After we've removed the back cover, the next thing we're going to do is remove the battery. To do this, you'll need to get your small Phillips screwdriver and remove eight screws. You'll see these screws located in the diagram to the left. After you've removed all eight screws, you can take your plastic pry tool and gently lift up the battery being careful it's still connected down here. You just want to remove this connector allowing you to remove it from the device completely. The next thing we're going to do is remove the two loudspeakers and the USB port by taking our small Phillips screwdriver and removing the screws as shown here. There is also a metal plate covering the connector for the USB port that you'll need to remove a screw in order to remove that too as well. Take your safe open pry tool to release the pop connector for this loudspeaker as well as this pop connector for the left loudspeaker. Next we're going to take our small Phillips screwdriver and remove the screws holding the plate for the USB connector as well as the USB port itself. After you've removed all three screws you can take your pry tool to remove this metal plate covering the pop connector onto the motherboard. Once you find a safe area to insert your pry tool this metal clip comes off quite easily. Now that the connection is exposed, you can use your pry tool to release the connector as well as the connection for the home button, allowing you to remove the USB port completely from the tablet. Moving these parts off to the side, we have three small Phillips screws at the top we need to remove as well as releasing five connections as shown in the diagram below. and then also the digitizer flex. Once you have all these connections removed, you can now remove the motherboard from the device. Next we are going to remove the headphone jack and camera just by taking our pry tool and gently lifting up on the headphone jack.
After you remove this, now you can also remove the front camera. Over here you have your button flex cable as well as microphone. Gently take your pry tool and peel up this flex cable held down with a little bit of adhesive. You can see the microphone here and your button connections right here. After we've removed that, we're now going to remove the memory card reader and vibrator motor. The adhesive holding the vibrator motor down to the housing is quite strong. In this case, you may need to use a metal pry tool or a flathead screwdriver as extra prying leverage in order to remove it from the metal housing. Be careful not to damage the flex ribbon connecting the two components together. Lastly, we need to take our plastic pry tool and fold up this flex cable, removing the connection underneath it, allowing you to remove it completely from the device. Next, we're able to flip over the device. We're going to use a heat gun or a hair dryer in order to heat up the sides of the screen assembly to loosen up the adhesive holding it down to the housing. You want to do this on medium heat, roughly 30 to 45 seconds at a time, being careful not to damage the LCD screen by heating it up too much. For information on how to do this, visit RepairsUniverse.com where you can see a detailed written guide on how to complete this disassembly. Also follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and thanks for watching.